Hello everyone, it's PCL per here and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix crashing and freezing of the game Doom Eternal. So a lot of users have been complaining about this problem since the release of the game. The game keeps crashing on launching and during the gameplay. So I've got 2 to 4 workarounds that will surely help in fixing this issue. But if you're not able to get this problem fixed by watching this video, then wait for 1 to 2 days. I'll look for more, more solution and make another video and that might help you. So don't forget to subscribe for more and now let's get to the solutions. So I went through to the official steam community forum of the game Doom Eternal and looked for solution and went through all these forums and I found some workarounds that are working for most of the users. So without wasting your time let's get to the first step. The first step is clean booting your PC. It's a necessary step that I would recommend you to do before performing any of the further step. So don't forget to clean boot your PC and if you don't know how to clean boot your PC I've made a 2 minute 45 seconds guide on how to do so. You can access the, this video by clicking the link provided in the description of this video. So once you have clean booted your PC, you can proceed to the second step. Second step is posted by one of the users on this official forum of Doom Eternal. As you can see, this thread on game crashes before loading to the main menu is marked as solved. And how is it solved? Issue is caused because previous installation of Reshade was enabled globally for all Vulkan games. Opening the reshade installer and disabling reshade for Vulkan solves the crashing. Other users without reshade installed still experience crashes. So if you are a user who has installed reshade for Vulkan games, then you can simply disable your reshade and it will surely help you in fixing the problem. And if you don't know how to disable your reshade, you just have to open your reshade and in reshade you will see enable or disable reshade in Vulkan globally and click on it and disable it if it is enabled and if you have disabled it it will surely help you in fixing this problem but if you are still facing this problem you have to proceed to the third step and the third step you have to go to your pc and you have to go to your main user folder so in c drive go to users and whatever is the name of your pc enter it my pc's name is me here so i'll go to it and in it go to saved games in saved games look for id software folder and delete it but if you want to save your save game files, you can restore them by entering the folder and making a backup of your saved files. But delete rest of the folder and once you have deleted it, delete it and most probably your problem will be fixed. Restart your PC, try it in the game. But if you are still facing this problem, then proceed to the next step, which is again an important one. Oh, before proceeding to the next step, I have an important note. If that if you're an NVIDIA user or even an AMD user for both AMD and NVIDIA the game ready drivers are already out for the game Doom Eternal. As you can see in my GeForce experience I can see our latest GeForce game ready drivers delivers the definitely day one definitive day one game experience for the highly anticipated Doom Eternal. Download and install now. So if you have not downloaded these drivers you have to download them now. I have also not downloaded them because the PC I use for recording is not having this game so I have no need to download this. But I recommend you to download it before playing the game. So once you have updated all the graphic drivers, now proceed to the last step and again a really important one. In this step you have to delete two files from your system32 folder. Vulkan1.dll and Vulkan110391.dll What you have to do is just delete them. Delete these files and where will you find this file? You have to go to your C drive. In C drive go to Windows. Where is Windows? Here it is. And in Windows, you have to go to System32. Here it is, System32. Enter this folder and here look for these two files. Vulkan1.dll and Vulkan110391.dll And as soon as you find these files, delete them. But the thing is, the PC I use for recording is not having Vulkan, so I am not having these files too. But you will be having these files if you are a Vulkan user. So delete these two files and the next step is linked to this step only. You have to go to this link. I will provide you this link in the description of this video. You have to download this Vulkan RT file. That is a .rar file. Your download will be started soon. And once your download is started, it will be a zip file. And you have to extract this file. And there will be a Vulkan setup. You have to install it and simply restart your PC after installation. And your game will start working. So these were the four to five accounts that I was talking about and make sure you perform all the essential steps like disabling your antivirus, not disabling your antivirus, add an exception in your antivirus for this games folder and your graphics should be up, your driver should be up to date and 
you should perform all the steps that I have shown to you in this video. But if you are still not able to solve this problem, I will look for more solution and keep you posted and make a new video on how to fix this problem and that will surely help you in fixing the problem. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.